Hello everyone, this is Chino Rodriguez, and today I'm going to be covering how to do on-the-fly remote access. So let's get started. Um, this first came to came about uh, as far as in my experience. I, I had a remote into a desktop of um, a location that we supported, but they were actually on a separate network, so they weren't connected to our domain. And so it was a lease practice and I had a remote in. And so there's a couple free applications, web-based applications out there. Um, the one I'm going to be using today is called join.me. Um, if you didn't want to use join.me, you can also use show my PC. All right, so let's get started. Um, in the screen, you can see that I have a VM open and then I have the regular desktop. Uh, what you would do is, let's say that the client that's having the problem which client one here um, needs you to remote in you would ask them to open Internet Explorer and then on the web browser you would just have them type join.me don't worry about the www.http because the web browser is gonna load that automatically for them so just tell them to type in join.me and hit enter once they do that they're going to get the join.me default home page. And if you scroll down towards the middle of the page, you're going to see start meeting. So you're going to tell them to click on the orange play button. When they click on the orange play button, it's going to launch the application. Oh, here it didn't start. So it, let's see here. So it's running in the background. As you can see, it's down here in the taskbar. You'll at, when they get this, you just tell them to click Run. When they click Run, this is going to generate the applet, and it's going to give you a nine-digit number that you can enter from your web browser to remote in. And so in this case, the number is 820-199-908. Once this populates, you can tell them that they can exit out of that upgraded um, dialog box that pops up by clicking on the orange X and on your end you're gonna open a web browser which I'm about to do so this is my web browser and then this is the client machine you're gonna go to join.me as well but instead of clicking on start meeting you're gonna enter the code to join meeting and so the client is gonna give you that uh, nine digit number for you to enter. Okay, just take a second here. Okay. And there we go. All right, so where it says join meeting, this is where you would enter the nine digit code provided by the client. So in a real case scenario, you would still be on the phone with them um, instead of doing it via email because it takes too long. And you would get that, that code, 820-199-908. And then you would click the green play button. Now the good thing about this service is that it's absolutely free. You don't pay a dime and you can do it from anywhere as long as you have a web browser. Okay, so now you remote it into the computer. By default, you cannot do anything. So it's just view only. Um, so what you're going to have to do is click on the plus sign and, and select request control. When you do that, the client is going to receive this dialog box that says allow viewer one to control and you would ask them to click allow once they do that then you have control of their desktop so if you wanted to you can close out minimize the screen okay and then once you're in you do whatever you need to fix and you would get out and once you're done you can just click on the X for the uh, user interface box that you have here just click the X it'll say exit join.me you would go ahead and confirm by clicking exit and that would log off your session same thing uh, on this end 
um, since it's since the session already ended, they got that dialog box. Once they click exit on their end, you would have to generate a new code. So if you needed to go back in for whatever reason, then you would just have to walk them through those steps again. And that is how you do on the fly remote access. Thanks for watching.